Sweet Picks. Zack. Just Zack. Hi, I'm Blood Maniac, and I'm about to tell you why Zack is so extremely fun. This series is dedicated to fun and unusual builds on the champions we play and enjoy every day. Zack. Why isn't people playing this guy? He's probably one of the most versatile champions you can play. You can play him pretty much everywhere. Except that he carry crossbenders, top, mid, jungle or support, it doesn't matter. He can do them all. He can either be a 5k full HP unkillable super tank. Or he can be an extremely burst to all in full AP mage with 900 AP. It's his kit that allows this. He has a good combination of gap versus early game damage and hard CC. And combining this with his passive makes him one of the most unique champions in the whole game. So let's start talking about his abilities. First off, Zack doesn't have a resource bar. All of his abilities cost a percentage of your current health. And when you combine this with his passive, it makes him really spam friendly. And gives him great sustain, so you can usually outsustain your opponent. His passive is a big part of his kit, and synergizes really heavily with his other abilities. So let's start off with his passive, Cell Division. This passive really has three parts to it. So let's start off with the least significant. The size of his body scales with his HP. This can make him really huge. If you have 5k HP, even towers crumble in shame when they see you. It also makes him look really tiny and cute when he's at low HP. All of Zack's abilities, upon hitting an enemy, makes him shred off a part of his own body. These blobs fly towards an enemy nearby enemy champion. If they step on them, they die. When you step on them, they heal you for 4% of your maximum HP. This gives him great sustain, even in lane and in the jungle. And lastly, when he dies, he splits into four blobs that creep their way back together. These blobs have 20% of your max HP and 50% of your magic resistance armor. These blobs have the Anivia filled with them. It feels like people like to guess if you have it up or not. Or they might just reset it all together. You can do quite a bit with this passive. I'd just save you from a sticky situation, or bait enemies to dive you. It has quite a long cooldown, but that's understandable as it's a quite powerful ability. Moving on to his actual abilities. His Q, Stretching Strike. This ability has pretty great utility attached to it. It slows the enemy for 40% and has a decently short cooldown so you can really stick to an enemy. You are quite hard to outrun with this ability alone. The damage of this ability is decent and it spawns blobs with its passive. This ability is quite similar to his W, Unstable Matter. This looks really dark when you use it. Just erupt dealing damage around you. The damage of this ability is quite great. It deals the damage based on the health of the enemy. When you pick up one of your blobs, the cooldown of refresh by 2 seconds. And you have only a 5 second cooldown, and combining it with his passive, you can almost use it instead of auto attacks. There's something quite unsettling about this, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Now, the longest dash in the entire game. Whee! His E, Elastic Slingshot. The range of this is ridiculous. You can easily jump from Parenthood to Red Buff. At max rank, no one can catch up to you or escape. You will always be a mile ahead of your opponent thanks to this. Furthermore, this ability spawns an additional blob from each enemy champion you hit with it. This means that you can have a very large amount of blobs out at the same time, making you quite tanky. This will also freak the living crap out of people. When they see the shadow gradually form beneath them, they will simply go in a panic. Flashing, dashing or simply causing any random ability is a frequent response. Whee! His R. Let's bounce. We need some fitting music for this. Nope, that's not one. We can do better. Ah, there we go. Zack starts bouncing around, knocking people up and slowing them. He bounces four times and becomes increasingly faster with each bounce. Okay, cut the music off. We'll get a copyright strike otherwise. This has great teamfight potential and provides him with even more CC and utility. He becomes crazily fast at the end of the duration, and using this ability in a clutch situation might save you. Combining all of his abilities is what makes him one of the best initiators in the entire game, in my opinion. Is on par with some of the stupid ones like Malfactor Vi. I do not see why people aren't playing him more. 
He's extremely fun, extremely mobile and got a great initiation. Decently high damage, even as a tank, a trolley passive that will save us more than any cheeky heal will ever do. He's all around a solid, solid champion. When it comes to builds, you can do quite a lot with him. Building full health to synergize with his passive really well might work. He would also become absolutely huge. I personally enjoy a quite tanky, AP heavy build. Slowing people even more with the help of Rylai's Crystal Scepter is a really good choice. It gives you an additional slow, HP and AP. Sadly, Zack doesn't use mana, so items like Rod of Ages aren't the best choice. If you happen to enjoy the AP route, then the Rabalance and Illumin's Echo is almost all you need. You will blow people up even before they see the looming shadow gradually built underneath them. This is what a typical teamfight with full AP Zack should sound like. Zack also has some great life advice. He teaches the player how to become successful in life. Follow these steps and I'm sure that you one day will become as successful as Zack. I never skip breakfast. This is where he gets energy to be so energetic and positive all the time. It's common knowledge that breakfast is one of the most important meals of the entire day. Don't skip breakfast. I should get a suit. Suit up for the occasion. You don't go to a job interview dressed like a hobo. You should be clean and pick the suitable clothing for any specific occasion. Put some spring in your step. You shouldn't slack into a ball when you walk. You should walk with pride in your eyes and look like you know what you're doing with your life. Don't look into the ground. Greet people with a friendly face. Walk with pride. How's it going? Um, greet people with a friendly little face? I don't really know. Why, thanks. I do work out. Um, I, um... Beat up or beat down? I'm flexible. Okay, maybe you shouldn't take him quite as serious. Whee! And there you have it. Zack, one of the most versatile champions in the entire game. He's so underplayed even though he's quite powerful. Take these tips to your heart. And stay blood, my friends.